In this video, we're going to be checking out some brand new cases by suitcase for the iPhone 16 Pro. Here we've got the Mag XT, the UB Mag, a Mag Stand case, and the UB Pro. And something you don't see with a lot of other cases, some of these cases actually have a camera cover button, so we're going to see how well that works too. So we're going to be testing out all these cases. We're going to see how they fit, how they feel. I'm going to go over all the features. And in the end, I'm going to let you know which my favorite is. And by the end of this video, you'll know which one of these cases are right for you. So let's get started. And then here we have Soup Cases Mag Stand Case. The interesting thing about this case is it does have a metal kickstand on the back that also doubles for MagSafe. It does have a nice firm hard backing surrounded by a softer rubbery type edge. So before you put your phone in, you're going to want to remove these little plastic covers that they have to protect the phone before you actually get it. The inner one is a little bit harder to take out. And then there's also one on the outside as well, but we can put our phone inside the case now. Feels good in hand. It does have a good grip to it. As far as the buttons goes, nice and clicky, easily pressable. I also do not have a tempered glass screen protector on my phone, so you get to see how much of a raised edge you still get without that tempered glass. You can also see how it keeps the phone fairly slim, and you get to see how thick this back plate actually is. We also have some extra little reinforcements in the corners to help with drop protection. We've got our lanyard hole, our separated volume buttons and a textured action button. We have our cutouts in the bottom. On the other side, we have our power button and we also have that cover for our camera button as well that has these little conductors to help with touch. We'll test that out in just a minute. On the back, shows off the color of your phone. Nice and clear. And again, we do have this metal kickstand that comes out very easily and you can use your phone in a portrait or a landscape mode in case you want to watch some Netflix. This does not rotate but it folds right back into the case nice and flush and we also do have a pretty good raised edge for our camera protection as well. So now let's test out our MagSafe on the back. We do have a MagSafe power bank here. Clips nice and strong on the back. Charges your phone immediately. And it's got a pretty good strong hold on the back as well, so you don't have to worry about your MagSafe accessory just coming off. The only thing that you will have to worry about with this is because of the, the back MagSafe ring is a kickstand, your accessory kind of can kind of bring up that kickstand a little bit just like that. But other than that, it's got a pretty good hold on the back of the phone. And again, I do like the fact that it is a solid metal and it doesn't just flop around. It pretty much stays in any position you're going to be putting it in. So now let's test out the camera button. So for accessing the, the camera, you can very easily press it with your finger. And because it sticks out from the case, it makes it easier to find. Very nice. Now let's test out those touch gestures. And the touch seems to be working really well also. And no issues there. It's not exactly the same as the button, but it's, it's pretty close. As you can see, it's working just fine. Very nice. I do like that camera button because it, it, instead of it being a cutout, it actually protrudes like a regular button does from the case. And then here we have the Soupcase UB Mag case. This is another clear backed case with MagSafe built in. It also does have a camera button as well. Nice hard plastic back surrounded by a softer rubbery type material. This also has a plastic cover that you need to remove before you put your phone in it. So put our phone inside the case. 
feels good in the hand. Now this case is not grippy. It does have a smooth plastic rubber type feel to it. Buttons are nice and clicky, easily pressable. If we take a look at the case from the side, you can see how much of a raised edge we get on the front of our screen. On the side here, we have our lanyard holes and our accented buttons, which are separate from the case, which I absolutely love. Little textured action button. We have our cutouts on the bottom. We have our power button on the side, along with that camera button. We'll test that out in just a minute. On the back, take off that cover. This also has MagSafe built in, but it's got a nice clear back to show off the color of your phone. And we have a plastic camera ring for protection there too. So let's test out our MagSafe. Clips right onto the back. Starts to charge your phone. And it's got a pretty good strong hold on the case as well. You definitely don't have to worry about your phone coming off the MagSafe accessory either. It's got a really nice strong hold. Very nice. Now as far as the camera button on the side, you can very easily access your camera. Let's test out our touch gestures. Seems to be working just fine. Again, it's not as good as the button on the phone, but it's close. And the reason why I like it is because it protrudes out from the phone instead of it being like recessed. It just makes it a, a lot easier to find and to press. Another really nice case. And then here we have the Soupcase Mag XT case. This is definitely a more rugged case, better for drop protection. It also has a metal camera cover that also acts as a kickstand, and we have MagSafe built in. It's got a nice hard plastic backing surrounded by a softer rubbery type material, and the inside just feels like a smooth plastic. So this case feels really good in hand. It's got some texture on the sides to help with grip. Buttons, super easy to press, very easy to find. I love it. If we take a look at the case from the side, you can see how much of a raised edge we get around the front of our screen. It also doesn't add a lot of extra bulk to the phone either. We do have those very aggressive reinforcements in the corners to help with drop protection. Got the texturing on the side here. The carbon fiber inlay, our separated volume buttons, I, absolutely, I love it. It just, it feels so good. <laughs> we have our action button on the side. We have our cutouts on the bottom. We also have a covered charging port as well. Some lanyard holes. We have that same kind of texturing on the sides with the carbon fiber inlay. We have our power button. We have a cutout for our camera button, which we will test out on the back shows off like, like a metallic kind of look, color on the back. Again, it is a hard plastic and we have MagSafe built in. And here we have our metal camera cover that is kind of stuck on the inside. So you don't have to worry about it just coming out and it pretty much stays wherever you want to put it. It's a very solid metal and it's got a soft kind of felt material on the inside so it won't scratch your lenses. And you can also push this pretty much all the way back so it's flat. And then you can see how much of a raised edge we get for our camera protection. Very nice. And then the cover just folds flush right back into the case. And then again, like I mentioned, you can also use this cover as a kickstand. So you can kind of angle it more towards your face. Very sturdy, stays in pretty much any orientation you're going to put it. Or you can also use it in a, like a portrait mode, kind of laying down towards your face. Love that option. Really nice protective case. And again, it doesn't make your phone super bulky. So let's test out our MagSafe. Clips onto the back. Immediately starts to charge your phone. And again, it's got a nice strong hold on the back of the case. 
so you don't have to worry about the MagSafe accessory just coming off. This, it's really got a nice strong hold. <laughs> That's not coming off. Very nice. This has definitely got to uh, be one of my favorite suitcase cases because it offers a lot of really good protection, but it keeps the phone fairly slim. And it also comes in different colors as well. And in case you're wondering, you can also use regular wireless charging with this case and other soup case cases as well. And then here we have the soup case UB Pro case. This is soup case's most protective case. It's got a kickstand on the back. It does not have MagSafe built in, but just like all of other soup cases cases, this is also military grade drop tested and it's got a built in plastic screen protector. It also comes with this really nice belt clip that has a clip that rotates 360 degrees. And you can also put the phone inside the belt clip two ways with the face in so it's protected or you can also put it in facing outward so you can see your, all your notifications. Now this is also a two-piece design case. It's got an inner plastic core surrounded by another like outer shell that's got a nice strong uh, rubber and a hard plastic on the back. So the way that you want to take this out is you want to kind of peel back the outer cover from this little corner here. Let's see if we can do this with our thumbs. Nope. So if you have a like a hard plastic pick or something like that you can kind of get it in here and peel away the outer outer shell and then pull out the inner portion just like that. So before we put this over our phone, you want to make sure that you thoroughly clean off your screen so there's no fingerprints or dust because it will be trapped inside the case. So once your phone is cleaned off, you want to peel out the inner protector and then put this whole thing over your phone starting with the camera side. And you just press down the other portion so it'll look just like this. And then take this whole thing and then press it inside your case. Then just go around the edges making sure the case is in place. Then you can peel off your top protector. And you're all set. So now your phone is covered 360 degrees. Case feels good in the hand. It's got a rubbery type material on the side with some texture. Buttons are also nice and clicky, very easily pressable. And you've got that really large cutout for your camera button. If we take a look at it from the side, you can see how much of a raised edge we get around the front of the phone. And again, we also do that, have that plastic screen protector on the front. It does add a little bit of extra thickness to the phone, but you are getting some really good drop protection. Here on the side, you can see that texturing with our volume buttons and our textured action button. On the bottom, we have our cutouts. We have our covered charging port, lanyard hole on the side, we have our texture and the textured power button with that large cutout for the camera button. On the back, it does have a hard backing, again with this plastic kickstand that very easily pops out like that. So you can use the phone in a landscape or a portrait mode. And I also love the fact that they have it angled so the phone is more angled towards your face. And then it very easily clips right into the back of the case. We have that carbon fiber inlay and a nice raised edge to protect our cameras. Again, this doesn't have MagSafe, but you can use this with a regular wireless charging. So let's look at our screen protector here. You can see it does have a cutout for our camera. And as far as touch, touch working perfectly fine. No issues there. You can see it is crystal clear. It does have some resistance to it when you're running your finger over it because it's not glass, it is plastic. And then let's see what the screen looks like as if we were looking at it through polarized sunglasses. So you can see that it does have a slight rainbow effect, but really not bad at all. Not nearly as bad as some of the other tempered glass. 
And then for our camera, camera's nice and clear. You can easily see everything right through it. Now as far as fingerprints goes, it does pick up some slight fingerprints, which you can see on the screen there. But you can pre pretty easily wipe them away, depending on how dirty your fingers are. <laughs> now as far as the camera button on the side, you can very easily access that because the cutout is so large. And then as far as the gesturing, gesturing does seem to be working just fine. The only thing is because the, the sides are so big, you kind of have to get your finger around this edge to kind of dip into the button here. It's not horrible, but if you have small hands, it might be a little hard to reach this button. But as far as touch, it does seem to be working just fine. And then like I mentioned before, you can put it in your case two different ways. I typically recommend to put the screen in so it's totally covered. So if you want the most protective case that Soupcase offers, I would definitely recommend getting the UV Pro. So those are Soupcase's cases for the brand new iPhone 16 Pro Max. Which one of these cases was your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. I definitely think that my favorite has to be the Mag XT case. I love it because it offers some really good protection for your phone while keeping it somewhat slim. And I do love the fact that it's got this metal camera cover on the back that does also act as a kickstand. So again, if you guys do want to pick any of these up, I will be putting product links in the video description. And if you guys enjoyed the video, it would really help out the channel if you gave me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.